Are we on holidays yet? I think we are. Hi guys, welcome to Talk and Chalk. I'm Beck. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am an assistant principal in Southwest Sydney and we are now on summer school holidays. We finished up on Friday, just gone. There are some people in the system though that still have a couple of days to go depending on whether or not they have a staff development day. I'm lucky. At our school, we decided that we would do our professional development earlier in the year with some twilight sessions. So we get off two days earlier. Yay! Extra shopping for us. If you're like me though, you'll find that when you finish the end of the year, you you finished generally pretty tired, exhausted, but also excited because you've had wonderful activities like farewell and graduation and presentation day and fun days and all sorts of rewards and things like that. But we also get excited to knowing what's coming in the next year. And I find that I get excited on that last day. I come home and then I start thinking more about what's happening in the next year. And you kind of do that in that last week, getting to know who your new team is going to be, what your new space is going to be like. And then you start automatically getting that idea in your head of what you're going to be doing in the year to come. And I am super excited for what's happening next year. I'm coming back off class. I'm going into a support role, last RFF, mentoring, team teaching, and I'm going to be supervising stage three. I love being in stage three. I love the units that are there. I love the opportunities for our year six kids and all the leadership things that get to happen there. So I'm really, really excited to be doing that. And the team that I've got next year is a wonderful group of people. So I'm excited for that too. It just means though that when we start holidays, sometimes we find it hard to wind down and shut off and give ourselves the chance to have the break that we need to have to reboost and revitalize and regenerate ready for the next year so that we don't come in completely exhausted. So I thought I would share with you guys today just a couple of the things that I like to do to try and I guess get out of work mode, get into holiday mode. My husband calls it holiday back. Um, while also, I guess, being prepared for the year to come. So just so you know, I am going to continue doing videos throughout the holidays. I'm still going to aim for one in the middle of the week and one on the weekend. It may not as be as rigorous as it's been uh, previously because, hey, it's holidays, but I will attempt to do, you know, to, to try and keep to that routine as much as I can. So for today, though, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I'm doing so that I can try and switch off while still getting prepared for the next year. So big one that I've been using is obviously the to-do lists. And I know I've said before that as a teacher, we should never aim to get the to-do list done because it's just not doable. However, at the moment, my to-do list is specifically related to Christmas, Christmas Day, which is in a week and a bit as I make this video. So I have been making um, two lists. One other is the list of thing that needs to be done for that day. And then there's the list of things that still needs to be done. So I've already ticked off things like, you know, get the new tablecloth, um, get a, get the kids new stockings, things like that. Things that I know I've done, I've ticked it because then I don't have to worry about it. Now I've got my list of things that I need to do. So some of the things that I need to do, um, you know, has the list of names that I need to buy for or, um, you know, things like, um, if I, we're getting the lawns mode beforehand, things like that. So that's on the to-do list. And that way I can visually see how much I've already got achieved, what I need to get done. And then there's no randomly going to the shops and going, oh, what were those five things that I needed to get again? Or, or who did I need to see? Or what errands did I have to do? Um, and today we got up early and we checked off a bunch of those things. I just wanted to get it over and done with. I didn't want to be at home going, oh, you know what? I've earned a break. I'm just going to chill for two days and get stuff done. We got a ton of stuff done straight away. Um, I still played with the kids. We went and had a water balloon fight and everything this afternoon and indulged in that. And um, at least it just felt good to get a few things off the checklist. Um, another thing I, I'm using is Pinterest. So, you know, we constantly see things that come up all the time that we go, that would be great. That would be great. I need to save that. I need to store that. Pinterest is just the best way to do it. Just create boards pin it, save it and go back and look at it later. And then, you know, in your head, you know, I'm starting to collect some resources for that. I'm prepared. It's on Pinterest. I'll go back and look at it later. And if you've got the app on your phone, it's super easy to use. So at the moment I've been using my Pinterest, which should be in the links below. 
Um, it's normally teaching stuff, but at the moment I'm using it for Christmas table decorations. This is the first year we're hosting a Christmas meal. Normally we go to the family elsewhere, but this year we are hosting Christmas breakfast for my parents, my sister, her partner, their daughter, and obviously our kids. So I've just been using it for that. But if you go on there, you'll see the other things. Obviously my Pinterest is now going to start developing into stage three themed boards. So, I mean, if you're on stage three next year, follow along and you might see the things that I've got on there. Okay. Uh, some of the other things that uh, might help you sort of de uh, wind down during the holidays is indulging in something that you normally wouldn't indulge in. Um, you know, take yourself for a massage or go get your nails done or go get your hair done or go play paintball or go do laser tag or go bowling or go to the movies or something. Just indulge in something to help you chill, get out of the teacher mindset um, and get yourself into a bit of a holiday routine, which, you know, hopefully is pretty chilled. But, you know, I have kids, so I was still up early this morning. But, you know, instead of being in the lounge room, near the phone, near the email, ready to go for the morning, I took myself to the back porch, had a cup of tea. My son went out and did some coloring in, you know, chilled with the dog, my gorgeous peanut, and spent some time out the back enjoying the nice cool air. Something I recommend that you do to wind down is reading something that has nothing to do with teaching. Now, every night I read, it's a habit I've had since, I think since I was in year four or year five, my mum was always reading, my mum and I are always reading, my kids love reading. Um, at the moment, I'm not quite getting through it as quickly as I'd love to. I wanted to finish this one by the end of the year, but this is Polgara the Sorceress, which is book 12. Um, in a series that are all about this thick, um, David and Lee Eddings. It's a, if you want to start off with it, it's a fantasy series. Uh, starts off with the Belgariad, five books, moves on to the Malorian or Malorian, however you pronounce it, another five books. And then it goes to Belgareth, the Sorcerer, and then Polgara, the Sorceress. If you like Lord of the Rings or anything like that, you'll definitely like these. It's a good read. But you can see I've got a stack here. Uh, some of these I haven't read yet. I'd love to get through. This one, actually, this sand one, um, I'd never even heard of. But if you are in the Campbelltown region, or even if you're not, travel out to Campbelltown, um, there is a bookshop called Bookface um, in the new section that's been built there. But in the aisleway leading up to it, there is an area with lounges like you would see in any shopping center, except this one has a bookshelf on it, and it's got an advertisement for the store. And a little display case but underneath it there are shelves with books and it says take a book leave a book it's a book exchange so I take books there all the time that I'm finished with or the kids books as well because you can swap those ones around I'm, I'm pointing that way because that's my kids bedroom <laughs> that direction um, and I picked that one up there so I'm keen to to have a look at that one but I mean, it's such a great system you know that take a book leave a book um, sometimes it dwindles out a bit so I'll just I'll take you know, 10 books from here and dump them there, but I might only take one book to read because, you know, I can go back later and pick another book. That's not a problem, but I recommend giving it a go. If you, if you're a reader and you want something, you don't want to buy something, give it a go. If you don't like it, you take it back. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, other ways to unwind. I'm trying to think of the other ways. <laughs> I'm pretty wound up. Um, I've got a fair few bottles of wine that were given to me as gifts. Thanks guys. That's, you know, one way to do it along with the boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of chocolates that I also received. I feel extremely spoiled this year. This is actually one of the gifts I got as well from one of the lovely teachers that I work with. It's, I've never heard of this company, Edie and Wallace. It's a Christmas scented candle that smells like mulled wine. Look at that. It really does. I want to lick it. Oh, that smells so good. But I mean, hey, if you're into scents and stuff, I plan on lighting that with my book and having a read. Uh, Hubby and I have talked about me putting down the phone a bit more often. If you've seen me on Twitter or Facebook, you know I'm, I'm big on, I like using social media a lot um, for various reasons. I've got friends that live overseas. I've got family that live interstate and it's always a good way to keep in touch doing it that way. But I do need to, I think, find a way to unplug a bit because our job often relies on technology a lot and it's a habit to kind of have it constantly going. So I need to remember to physically unplug, put it down, go spend time with my children instead of videoing them all the time and actually engaging in it. Um, I, I like photos and videos, so that's why I do spend a lot of time doing that. But today I, 
uh, went out the back with them and had a water fight, like I said, with balloons and everything. And that was fun. And I, the, you know, I work, I work hard because I love my job. I also do it because I'm the sole income earner and I want to make sure that I'm good at what I do and that I'm providing for my family. Um, but ultimately at the end of the day, you know, they come first. I need to be spending time with them. So however, that being said, I've got a massage booked in for tomorrow. So I'm going to go and get a massage and try and de-stress that way a little bit. My parents are coming soon. So I'm going to spend some time with them just reconnecting because they live a, um, a few hours away and um, just being able to spend time with them, which is really good. My mother-in-law and father-in-law are going to be moving away in January um, out of Sydney. Um, so this will be a first for us having having them so far away. Um, well, them out of Sydney as opposed to myself and family out of Sydney. So we want to spend time with them as well. So I urge you to all do the same thing. Reconnect with your family. Find a way to chill and relax. Um, whether it's getting a book or get doing an activity or going for a trip. Uh, we're going to Queensland mid January, I think it is 18th of January, going to the Gold Coast, go, go, blah, blah, going to the Gold Coast for a family holiday, which will be a nice way to, you know, relax and have fun. But you know, anyone who's got kids knows that when you go on holiday with kids, it's not really relaxing. It's fun, but it's not necessarily relaxing. Uh, they're getting a bit older though, so I might have the chance to do that if they go to kids club. We'll see how they go with that one. But that's only a few things that I do, and I'm sure you guys have got suggestions for something that is much, much better. So if you've got a suggestion on how we can unwind and de-stress from work, um, you know, getting ready for the holidays, please feel free to suggest it. Comment below. Uh, if you want to catch up with me, my Twitter, Facebook, everything is down there below. And like I said, I'm going to keep making movies these holidays, uh, videos these holidays. I think I've just switched off my brain. That's just evidence that it's working. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, though, I'm going to put my button down here so that you can hover over that and click subscribe. I'll put one of my other videos up the top there as well. Actually, I might link one of my um, Christmas gift ideas up there for you in case you uh, haven't seen it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It's always good to get feedback and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.